Hi, this is Randy Rosetta with NOLA.com and the Times Picayune with an LSU basketball vlog. LSU got its eighth straight win Saturday night against Savannah State, 75 to 59, and I'm almost inclined to do what my mama told me and to not say much because there wasn't a whole lot of good to say. Now LSU got the win. That's the important thing. They go into SEC play with an 11 and two record. Johnny Jones did find some positives, and, and that's what coaches need to do. But this was a struggle for LSU. They came out with not a lot of energy, which they've not done a lot this year, especially for a young team. They've found a way to to kind of be energetic every time they've taken the floor. That wasn't the case tonight. Savannah State, which is now 3-10 and 10 and has gotten blown out on a regular basis this year by power conference teams, came out and took an 8 to nothing lead and still led 16-6. to 6. LSU's offense was getting shots, but they were not hitting shots. They missed 14 of their first 17 field goal attempts. That's a big reason they were in that hole. They finally found a rhythm and a, a couple of keys to that. They Johnny Jones put them in a full court press and that resulted in some turnovers, easy shots. And they started feeding Jordan, uh, Mickey and Jarrell Martin inside. Those two combined for 50 points. Jarrell Martin had 26, which matches his career high. Jordan Mickey had 24, 14 rebounds and blocked another six shots, which has kind of become an old hat. After that horrible start, LSU shot nearly 70% from the field. They made 30 of their last 43 shots. But that early struggle, that's something they can't afford going into SEC play, which opens Thursday at Missouri. That's happened a few times this year. They've been able to overcome it each time. They did again tonight, but they've got to figure out a way to not let that kind of gain ahead of steam like it did at times early in this first half. Uh, once they got control of this game, there was no contest. They, Savannah State had no answer for LSU offensively, especially for the two big guys. And another key was that LSU started sharing the ball exceptionally well. It finished with 25 assists on 33 made shots, which is just an amazing number when you think of it. And there were some shots that were missed that would have increased that number even more. Josh Gray led the way with eight. Several other guys chipped in, including the two big guys, had three assists each. And that's, again, going into SEC play, they're going to have to play a little bit of that high-low game. And that's going to be a key that those two know how to pass to each other, how to find each other in the creases of a defense. It's going to be a lot harder going against SEC competition. LSU gets the job done. And despite what Mama told me, I did find some things to say nice. Uh, they are now 11-2, and two, have won eight games in a row, take a nice head of steam into – conference play and if nothing else this game gives Johnny Jones and his coaches some teaching points the next few days to get them ready to make sure that these guys understand that they've got to play at a much higher level against higher level competition. This is Randy Rosetto with NOLA.com and the Times Picayune.